All right, so everything that we do in here, I will record it, okay? The notes every day. Whatever's going on the wall is going to get recorded. Whatever I'm saying is going to get recorded. I'm going to save it, and at the end of the period or sometime during next period, I'm going to upload it to YouTube, okay? That's for you to either watch if you missed the class or if you feel like you missed something in your notes, you can watch it again outside of class, uh, during class, on the weekends. It's just where all the material is going to be for the class. The notes, the practice problems, the examples. At the end of your notes each day is where I put your assignment. Okay? So if you're absent from school or if you're an e-learner, just go to YouTube each day. Check YouTube. What I recommend you do is put your turn your notifications on. All right? And what it does is the days that you're absent, it reminds you to watch the notes because you'll get a notification when I upload the notes. All right? And I I tell kids to do it all the time. Some kids do it, some kids don't do it. The ones that have done it, they said, "Oh, that really worked, you know, cuz I had forgotten to get the notes or whatever." That's where they're at. So whether you're sitting in this class, whether you're an e-learner at home, you're responsible to get the information every day, to get the assignment completed, and get it emailed to me if you're not in class, or if you're in the class, it's going to go in that orange basket up there when the bell rings. Okay? Okay. There's going to be notes almost every single day, and there's going to be practice problems almost every single day. And that's how I get you. You get your grade. You take a quiz in this class every Friday. Okay. You get a study guide every Thursday. That's the way the class operates. You guys are going to take some notes, do some practice problems today, drop them in the basket when the bell rings. You're going to do the same thing tomorrow. You're going to get a study guide on Thursday. And you're going to have a quiz this Friday. That's what we're going to do every week. That's the routine. Where people get out of the routine is when they miss class. And they miss the notes. And then they don't turn in the work. And then they get zeros for it. And then it turns into this snowball thing. Whether you're in class on Fridays or not, you're responsible to take the quiz. Okay? I'll show you... You guys are all on focus, right? So can you go now? Let me share this with these people at home as well. Can you go to your, let's see. Let me share this full screen. And everybody go on focus right now, please. Book, and I want to go to web pages. We're looking for block one, algebra two. Anybody on there yet? Good. Okay. Do you see this resources tab right here? Open that resources tab. Right now, there's nothing in there, right? Well, let me show you what the resources tab looked like last quarter for Algebra 2. It was my Block 2 class. Here's what your resources tab will eventually look like. All right. Here's where all the study guides get posted every Thursday. Here's where your quizzes get posted. Okay. When I assign work, if you're in class, you will either write the practice problems off the wall 
I'll put them on the wall. You can write them on the wall. Or I will give you a handout, like this page 65 right here. If you were in class that day, you got the handout. If you weren't in class that day, then I uploaded a PDF of page 65 to the resources tab on focus. All right. If you weren't in class to take quiz number three, you clicked on this quiz number three right here and you took quiz three at home. All right. The way that you take quizzes, and we'll go over it again later on this week, is you open this quiz, you take it, you write down all your answers. And then look over here under alerts. Where is alerts? Is that on your, we'll go to web pages. See, this is where my page looks different than yours. Here is where, let me show you something. When you guys initially focus right here. All right, see this alerts up here? This is where your assignments, any electronic assignments that you have or any quizzes will show up. Okay? So here it's it's a little bit of a jump around, but you'll get used to it fast. If you're absent, you go to the resources tab, print the quiz, take the quiz. When you're done with the quiz, you go under alerts right up in here. It'll say quiz one, quiz two, whichever one you missed that week. When you open it, you can add your answers. Your multiple choice answers will go in there and your quiz answers will get submitted electronically. That making sense? Okay. I know I'm going a little bit fast right now, but it'll all make a lot of sense as you start working through the class. So like this focus page and where it says alerts, you need to check that. You need to get in the habit of checking it all the time. And if you're absent, you need to be checking YouTube when you're absent to get the notes. All right. So kind of the process is, the notes go to YouTube, all right? Any, any quizzes will be here under alerts. Sometimes I will put electronic assignments under alerts where I will ask you true false questions about the notes in class. That's where those will be as well, all right? All of your, anything that's considered like paperwork, um, quizzes, study guides, um textbook pages can i what okay <laughs> let's see what was i talking about <laughs> quizzes study guides, anything that I would have handed to somebody on a piece of paper in class, I will put here if you're not in class. So you have access to it. Got it? Everybody understand? Now, you have to be able to get on focus and you have to be able to get on YouTube. And if you guys, if you can't do that, let me know. And you're going to have to get a schedule change because you just, it won't work for you in here if you can't do that. Either that or you just can't ever miss school. So, does that make sense? Good, good. Now, it would be really nice. I had a, I had a second period class, Algebra 2 class, last quarter. And they all they did was stare at their phones. All they did is stare at their phones. So... <clears throat> You guys probably aren't going to be any different eventually. If I ask you one of those questions that requires a response, if you just nod up and down for, yeah, I kind of get it. Up and down, I understand, that means yes. If you don't get it, if you nod like left to right, if I see a bunch of heads going left to right, I can explain it again. If I see a bunch of heads going up and down, 
then we can keep going. Y'all understand? Up and down. Sit lolly, up and down or left to right? Up and down. There you go. See? It's not that hard, is it? You don't even have to talk in here. You just nod your head and watch YouTube and turn your work in. Got it? All right. Y'all at home got it? This will be good. Look, 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 yeah. Don't even, yep, yes, sir. Can you guys just talk instead of uh, chatting with me, please? It's so much easier if you just talk. Because I'm not going to be reading a bunch of chats in the middle of class. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Wasn't so hard, was it? Say no. No. See, good, good, good. Um, you guys that are in class, let's see. So, so let me write a few things down right here that um, all paperwork, all handouts, study guides, and quizzes. will be posted to focus under the resources tab. All makeup. All makeup work is done electronically. You have one week to complete work. That's when you're absent. This Friday, when I post quiz one to focus, it will be under the resources tab on focus, and then the answer sheet will be under the alerts on focus. That answer sheet will be available to you for one week. The answer sheet will be available for one week. Does everybody understand that? Okay, you got a week to do it. After that week, it, it won't open anymore. It's gone. I, I set date parameters when I turn the assignment on. So you got a week to do your makeup work. If you don't do it in a week, it's too late. Got it? Good. See how that works? Got it? It's good, just nod your head. If there's ever a problem with anything, you take a picture of your work and email it to me. Okay? Take a picture of the work, email it to me. Don't you guys, can't you guys just like tap my name on focus and send me an email? Yeah. Please don't chat to communicate with me. Those chats show up in a completely different place for me. 
and I have a real hard time keeping things organized. So if you need to communicate with me other than face to face, please email me through my school email account. All right. And when you're emailing me, make sure that your name is on your email account, not with jizzle 26. Okay. If you miss class and you are a, you're going to e-learn and you're going to zoom school name on the account. Okay. If you don't have your school name on the account, I'm not letting you in. All right. What else? If you're in class and you need to, uh, you need a hall pass. You're not supposed to go in the first 30 and you're not supposed to leave in the last 30. Cause that's the time where they're supposed to be sanitizing the restrooms. So if you need to leave class, just fill out your planner and bring it to me. Don't ask me if you can leave. Don't do any of that. I, I can figure out that if you're walking towards me with your hall pass, you want to leave class and I'm going to stamp it. You can go, we don't have to talk. Okay. Everybody all right with that? Head nod up and down left to right from now. That's good. Good. Anybody got any questions on anything we've talked about so far? What about you people at home? You got any questions on anything? No questions. Oh, no. I love that. I love it. No questions. Okay, then let me let me find out where we're at in this textbook here that I use, and then we're going to get started on doing some some math because that's why you're here. Everybody wants to do algebra two. So what grade are you guys in? Like, I know what grade you're in. What grade are you in? I had you last year. Yes. Oh. What about you? It was just last year that you were in here. It seems like it was about three years ago. You're a little older. Danish? Dangler, what grade are you in? Seven. All right. You late? So you took geometry last year? Yeah. And then last quarter you didn't have a math class? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. 
Okay, so we're going to start off today. We're going to start by talking about um, solving two-step equations. So real review for these first couple weeks. All right, so uh, 2x plus 3 equals 15. All right, we're isolating the variable, right? Getting the variable by itself in this case. So uh, first, we'll subtract 3 from each side. And these 3s over here, I call it cancel out, right? Because 3 minus 3 is 0, so we got a 2x is equal to a 12. Anybody know what to do next? All right, divide by 2. So we got an x equal to 6, good. Everybody all right with that? All right, so let's take a look at uh, 5 minus t, nope, 5 equals t over 2 minus 3. All right, so this variable right here, I, you always want to get the variable by itself. All right, and right now the t is being divided by 2, and then it's having 3 subtracted from it. So let's work on getting this right here all by itself. And you do that by adding 3 to each side. And when you add 3 to each side on the left-hand side, you got 5 plus 3, which is 8. And that 8 is equal to t over 2. t over 2 means, what does that mean? It means t divided by 2, right? So you do the inverse of division, which is multiplication. So right here now, you multiply both sides by 2. And these 2s will cancel. And you get the 16 is equal to t. Take a look at x minus 7 over 3. is equal to negative 12. All right, now, once again, I'm trying to isolate this. I'm trying to get that by itself, all of it. So we can do that by multiplying both sides by 3. What will happen is these two threes will cancel. And on the left-hand side, you're left with just the x minus 7. And on the right-hand side, you got a negative 12 times 3. Negative 36. Now, y'all got calculators? You need a calculator. All right? If you don't own a calculator, you need to buy a TI-36. What is this thing? TI-36XA. They're about $8. Go on Amazon, get it. You'll have it tomorrow. As we start working through the class, I'm going to use a TI-30XA, and I can show you a bunch of shortcuts, all right? And the shortcuts are very easy for you to use and incorporate if we both have the same kind of calculator. But if you have a different calculator or you're using your phone or something like that, then I can't show you. I can't teach you anything. 
because I'm not going to show you how to do it on four different devices. I'm going to show you how to do it on one. Because you're not supposed to have your phones out. You're not going to have your phones out during the quizzes. All right? And I'm telling you all that now. I got no control what these people do at home. But they're not supposed to have their phones out during quizzes either. So if you don't have a calculator by this Friday, I'm sorry. I can't help you. But you need to get a calculator and have it by Friday. No phones out during the quiz. All right, so that negative 12 times three, and I'm telling you, man, I saw it happen. It happens so often. Everybody thinks they, they start doing stuff in their head because they're too lazy to push negative 12 times three. And they write, they'll, they'll write this down wrong. They'll get that part wrong. They'll put 24 or 48 or 33 or 32 or 34. It's 12 times three, it's 36, right? All you got to do is type it in here in this little machine, and it'll give you the right answer. And all you got to do is copy it off the screen. Okay? And then you can add 7 to each side. All right? So if you type this, this 12, you do 12, and you hit the negative sign. It's right below the 3. And you got a negative 12 on your screen. And then you push times 3, and you hit equals. And the negative 36 is still sitting on your screen. Right? And if you always leave the last number sitting on your screen, chances are it's the next number that you have to use, right? This 36 negative is sitting on my screen. And then I'm going to add 7 and add 7. And these are going to cancel, and I get x equals. Well, the negative 36 is already sitting here, and I just push plus 7, and I hit equals. And it's negative 29. And you don't have to be good or math, good or bad at math to do that. You just got to be able to push the buttons on the calculator and then write down what it says on the screen on your paper. All right, same type of problem, just it looks a little bit different. If we got 6 equals x minus 2 over 4. All right, again, this is what we're isolating, the x minus 2. We're going to put times 4, and we're going to put times 4. And these are going to cancel. And now, calculator, 6 times 4 equals, that's 24. So 24 equals x minus 2. And then what? Plus 2. And then we got it, we just push plus 2 equals, and, get, and the calculator says 26 equals x, and we're done. <laughs> got it? Before we move along there, let's scroll back up to this part of your notes. Let's see. Uh, we'll just put it right here in the middle. That's all right. And we're going to put a big star by it, right? This, this means, like, really important. That's what that means, real important. I must show all my work to receive... Credit. Right here. We're going to clear this up day one. And what I mean by that is if I give you a problem that looks like this one and I did this much work to show you how to do it, you're going to do that much work if you want credit. Everybody understand? I'm not dealing with the I did it in my head stuff. 
All right, same with the quiz. You guys just show me your work. I did it in the calculator. Show me what you put in the calculator. That's what I mean by show me your work. This, multiplying both sides by four, canceling, rewriting, adding two to each side, drawing a line, putting the answer, circle in your answer. That's showing your work, all right? Writing down the problem, six equals X minus two over four, and then writing X equals 26, that is not showing your work, all right? So this is, we'll do this. This is a no. Uh-uh. This is a yes. Yes. Okay, you get credit for this. You get no credit for this. Okay? Very good. All right, moving right along. Let's try something like, um, we're gonna say the opposite of X over three. And we're gonna go minus five equals negative four. Whatever's with that variable is what we're trying to isolate. So we're gonna add five to each side. We're going to rewrite the opposite of X divided by three equals, we got four negative plus five, that's one. And now be careful right here. A lot of times this, this negative sign gets missed. All right. You're going to be multiplying by three, right? But since there's a negative over here, we got to multiply by negative three and by negative three. And then these two negative threes will go away and your X will be equal to negative three. And here's when it really gets, this is such a not complicated problem. Let's do four minus X over Four minus X over five equals 10. This is like a harmless problem. Gets missed a lot. This is what you're isolating. You do that by, see this four sitting out here by itself? What's the sign of that four? Is that a positive four or a negative four? Good, that's a positive four, all right? So you subtract four from each side right here. So this is four minus four, that's zero. You don't have to write it. All of this green is what drops down. This negative sign gets forgotten about all the time. Here's what comes down, negative X over five, all right? And that's equal to 10 minus four, which is six. And then we're gonna multiply both sides by, again, you got this negative right here. You're gonna multiply both sides by negative five and times negative five. And then I'll let you finish that. Uh, that front seat up there. Didn't you just sign on to? Yeah, I know I just wanted to help you. Anybody finish that one? Nod the head up and down. Let's see. So how could you say your answer without saying your answer? You know, I shouldn't even tell you this. I'm not going to tell you. I had this girl last 
quarter. I don't know, whenever it was, what they're called, Friday. He sat right where you sit. Nice, nice girl. You know what she, she came to class every day. Avery, you know what she did when she had a question? She didn't email me. Yeah, I get done teaching and I check my email and she asked a question. Type in her email me on her phone. I sit right in class. And then in my other class, I had a kid that sat right up there, did the same thing. I don't know. I, I, I don't know if it's fear of communication. Now, she admitted that she was shy. Don't do that. Don't email me a question if you're sitting in class, okay? Please don't do that. If you have, if you're at home and you're e-learning and you have a question, just ask it, okay? If any of you are still there, I think a lot of people sign in and they just go back to bed. That's why I call the real roll call the end of the Zoom meeting. Right? The one in the beginning is just make them think that that's when I'm calling roll, but I'm not really calling it until the end. And that's when you get credit for being here and not being here. No, not really. That's too much work. Any questions on anything we've done so far today? What time is the bell ringing here? We still got a lot of time, right? What do y'all think of this? Uh, uh, see, I try to talk to you like I talked to kids a couple of years ago. And uh, Darian, and you've already been here, Darian. Did you leave and come back? Used to be you could kind of have like, you guys remember that when you can have like an open conversation with students in the class and people answered questions with like words and sentences and stuff. Y'all remember that? Is it going away in all your classes or just in here? Just in here? Maybe it's me then. Huh? Sitting in class. What'd you say? Is that you, Darian? Alexis Burns. I know these people. Oh, no, Alexis Burns. Matt, you're not afraid to ask questions, right? You awake? Not really. I feel bad for Matt. He, he had me first period last quarter, too. All right, let's move along. Let's look at a few of these. Let's look at um, multi-step equations. And for those of you that are just joining us, you'll need to do this. You need to subscribe to my YouTube channel right here. That's where all the notes are every day. So you guys that just checked in, like you're an hour late, everything that you missed will be posted to YouTube today on my channel and it will be labeled everything is going to be labeled by date okay so if you miss a day if you miss a day and you know which date you missed you know how to find the notes for that day you've had me before right you guys know the routine a bunch of you guys know the routine everything on youtube is by date 
when you guys did you subscribe already? Did you see all the videos that were on there? Yeah, all, everything's listed by date. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll attach Algebra 2 to it because I'll be posting notes that's uh, pre-ACE Math 2. That's my other class. That's like a geometry honors. And I have this class. So today's notes will be called, let's see. Today's notes will be like, um, oops. Today's the 19th, 21, and then it'll say Algebra 2 and like notes in practice. All right. If you, tomorrow's will be just the same. 01, 20, 21, same thing. Algebra 2, notes in practice. The practice is at the ends. Okay. And I don't have any copies for you today. You're just going to be writing your practice problems off of the, off of the wall. But if you were at home, you'll just be watching them off. You could pause the video, write your work down. The way you turn in your work when you're at home is you take a picture of it and you email it to me. Okay. Take a picture, email it. That's how you turn your work in. If it's not an electronic assignment. Okay, so let's see. How about five equals? We got 5m minus 23 plus 2m. All right, in this case, you got multiple m's, right? You got a 5m and you got a positive 2m. You got to combine your m's. So we get a 5 is equal to a 5m and a plus 2m. That's a 7m minus 23. And now you're isolating this 7m, right? So you're adding 23 to each side. So 28 equals the 7m. And we're going to divide by 7. Those will cancel and 4 is equal to m. Negative 8, outside the parentheses, inside the parentheses, we got uh, 2x minus 1. That's equal to 36. So this is a distributive property problem. We've got to take this negative 8 and multiply it by everything in the parentheses. So your negative 8 times 2x is a negative 16x. Your negative 8 times your negative 1, that's a positive 8. And that's equal to 36. Subtract 8 from each side. These will cancel. So your negative 16x equals 36 minus 8. That's 28. <clears throat> and then you're dividing by negative 16. One point seven five, negative one point seventy five.
right, so any questions on any of those examples should be review. Well, I know if you were in geometry with me last year, you did all that type stuff all year long. So whether it was geometry or pre-ace, whatever it was, we did it. So it's review. If you got a question when you're doing the practice, that's when I would like you to walk over here and ask your questions. All right. I'm going to give you some practice problems now to do. When you copy these down, you may want to skip some space in between each. That way you won't have to rewrite them when you go to do them. Um, when you write down, like, this isn't going to happen very often. Normally I'll have a handout for you with practice problems on it. But when you do have to write down the practice problems, go to a clean piece of paper. Because I'm going to have you turn it in and I don't want you to tear anything out that's got notes on it that you may have to use later. So just go to a completely clean piece of paper that you can take out and put in the basket when the bell rings. You people that are at home, what you're going to do when I give practice problems and I ask the students in class to turn them in at the end of the period, I'm asking you to send me a picture of your work that's been completed at the end of the period. Okay? Not tomorrow, not tonight, at the end of the period. I want to see what you got done during our class period. Hopefully you understand that. All right, so here we go. We got 9t minus 6 minus 6t. That's equal to 6. All right, we're going to start off very simple. That's it, right there. 
that's today's assignment. But wait, let me add two more. All right, so here's, I know some of you are still writing and I just wanna say this, you guys that are in class, these are going in the basket. Upon departure, that means you wait until the bell rings. Make sure that your name is on your paper. You drop it in the basket real neatly on your way out the door. If you're an e-learner, you are going to email a picture of your work no later than, what time is this class over, 10.07? No later than 10.07. Whether you're done or not, you send a picture, you email me a picture, what you've completed between now and 10.07. Could you scroll up, please? How far? I just need to get two, three, and four down. All right. Give me a holler when I can when I can move that screen again because I'm gonna freeze it for these guys in class and I'm gonna stop this video. I'll just take a screenshot of it, but your blue icon is blocking a number on two. Is that better? There you go. All right, so you e-learners, at this time you're excused from this meeting to get as much of this assignment done as possible and email me a picture of it. If you guys don't have any questions, I'm going to close this meeting. And again, you're, uh, you're excused to exit and complete your assignment. You're good to move it by thank the way. Thank you. Have a good day. You're welcome and thank you.